all over the world. Well, for that little bit of work, the energy investment was basically an oil, a barrel. And look, now when we talk about uh, energy units, that doesn't mean electricity, doesn't mean oil, doesn't mean uh, coal, doesn't mean solar. All of those things are just energy. Whenever we talk about a unit of energy, we'll talk about a barrel of oil. Now, we may be talking about solar or the amount of energy a barrel of oil will get you as a uh, compared to how much energy you can get out of solar, but our units will be barrels of oil. Back around 1930, one gallon of energy input. Have a man with a truck, take a bucket, scoop some oil off the ground, take it to a refinery, put it in a gas pump, and get it to the final destination, which could be the consumer or some kind of industry. It took one barrel of oil energy input to extract 100 barrels of oil output. Do you understand that ratio? That's what you call the convenience. That's the convenience. Now, this big oil spill they just had out here in the Gulf of Mexico, I don't know how many people know this, but that, that well was seven miles deep. The oil you can get at six miles would just run out pretty quick, so you go another mile deeper, and just that way you set the machine up one time and get to run it for a while. Well, there's a problem with that. The machine which has its limit, which is getting that oil out at seven miles down, requires humongous amounts of energy to build. Then you have to man it. You know, we're not talking about a man with a bucket anymore. We're talking about a hundred man crew. You know, some of these machines, when you count the people bringing food out there to them, the people that's transporting them back and forth, the people that maintain the machine, the people that's operating the machine, the people that's building and putting the bits on the drill, 